inundated by several letters of summons by committees of both chambers of the National Assembly, the Manufacturer Association of Nigeria Man, Nigeria Association of Chambers of Commerce, Industry, Mine and Agriculture, NASIMA, Nigeria Employers Consultative Association, NECA, Nigeria Association of Small Scale Industries, NASI, and Nigeria Association of Small and Medium Enterprises, NASME, said enough of these invitations not backed by law. While we appreciate the effort of the National Assembly and its various committees and ad hoc committees to investigate and carry out oversight functions on ministries, departments, and agencies of government, we are of the view that sections 88 and 89 of the Constitution relied upon by the committees of the National Assembly is not applicable to businesses in the private sector. If you want tax, if it's tax issues, then go to FRS that we deal with. If the National Assembly have issues with the company paying tax, if FRS has given the company a clean bill of bill of health, then go to FRS. Look, that company is, we suspect that company is not doing something. Let the FRS do its work, not the National Assembly calling the company to come and, to come and report that. Miffed by the alleged harassment and intimidations of private business owners by the lawmakers, the OPSN said many businesses are closing shops and relocating to other friendly African countries. Some of the implications will be the closure of companies in the country, loss of employment by Nigerians, the country's loss of revenue through taxes and levies from the companies, unrest and increase in insecurity, etc. The action creates a duplication of the regulatory function and activities of the various ministries, departments, and agencies of government. Now we have a situation where these committees are governing, not just only by force, which we don't even experience under the military, but also by fear. So we, we, companies are facing very serious situation, and it is important for the National Assembly that is supposed to govern by law to caution itself. They called on President Bola Tinubu to intervene and stop the lawmakers to ensure positive response to his appeals for both local and foreign investments in Nigeria.